Okay, this is a video I'm making of my tilt-over mast tower that's also going to have a tilt-over mast. The idea is that this mast here will tilt over sideways so that I can put my hex beam on here and have the hex beam turn sideways. That means when I, when I lower the mast to the ground, the hex beam will still be looking straight up, kind of like a sunflower. In any case, what I have here is the, a movable joint here. This is a car hinge from uh, like custom cars or a roll cage. It's just a little hinge that I welded onto the top of the pole. And then that's where the mast is going to fit into. This is a lever arm. And what the lever arm does is, is it gets pulled or pushed down by this linear actuator motor. The linear actuator motor is quite powerful. It's good for like 1,300 pounds of force in the uh, compression or uh, extension. So what I'm going to do is power this up to show you how it works. And using a little RC battery, the linear actuator is now running. It's like molasses. It's very slow. But you can see that the beam is starting to uh, tilt over. <clears throat> now, once again, this is where my hex beam mast is going to go. Let me show you how I did the hex beam. I did this all different. I didn't like the way they were doing it where they were anchored from the bottom. So what I did is I put a mast straight through the hex beam. I cut the hole in the panel here so I can run a mast straight up through it and what I did is I replaced the aluminum floor support with cast steel so now I have a mast which I'm on the wrong side to show it to you but this mast runs all the way down and through the hex beam it has another floor support here so that they're anchored and then that mast continues on down the mast is threaded at the bottom. This is one inch rigid EMT uh, metal. I'll back up a little bit and show you a bit more. So right now it'll turn around pretty easily. Now you can see the mast if I can get through all these wires. The idea is to be able to take the hex beam down and work on it without having it be 11 feet off the ground because the distance from the center to the end of the mast the uh, fiberglass supports about 11 feet so that means you can't come down any lower than about that and this is a close-up of the mast there's two of these one above and one below these are steel not aluminum like the original k4 kio hex beam was so i drilled a hole in the center of the plate and i mounted these two guys on here pretty much using the similar holes that were already there I took the center support and anchored it using a UV proof Gorilla zip ties. I'll put a few more on here, but there's plenty of support. And then of course the top is conventional where you have all the little spreader tensioners holding onto it. The coax comes up and of course <clears throat> is fed. I have a, uh, a choke there. This will be where I put my vertical. My vertical antenna will sit on top of this, which is why the mast is like that. I was going to put a uh, a 2 meter Yagi on here, but I decided not to do that. So the Yagi is going to be mounted on this mast down here. This is about, oh, 30 inches to the ground. So what that means is I'll have room for the mast and then it'll go into that socket. This pipe is threaded on the end. It's the original EMT rigid pipe thread. <clears throat> and that'll screw into the uh, socket that I made. Now uh, let's get back out of here. So that's how the hex beam's working. I just ran the uh, antenna analyzer on it and all the wires and everything work. This guy here is just basically a rectangular, excuse me, square piece of aluminum with a rod running through the middle that feeds the ends of all the uh, elements one side's grounded, one side's fed up. Now, it's been long enough that the linear actuator has done its job. 
So go back to the garage here, and you can see that this is a 90 degree now. <clears throat> what I've done here is I put a threaded um, female coupling in here and welded it to the second half of the hinge. There's the first half and the second half. I put a coupling in here and welded it, and then I put another pipe over it and welded that, and I put another pipe over that and welded that. So this is double wall thickness, as you can see. So this is two sections of pipe in here, one fitting inside the other. And then at the bottom is a threaded socket. So the hex beam over here will just drop into this bar or pipe when it's on the ground like this. It'll just drop right in here and then screw in to make it tight. And uh, then it'll be anchored. Now this whole assembly is going to be rotated by my rotor. This mast is uh, done like this. The rotor will sit here and then I have a support and another support here so that the uh, mast doesn't take any side loading on the uh, rotor. Let's walk over and take a look at that real quick. Nice 78 degree day in Virginia. This is my tilt over crank up mast I built. When COVID hit, I had nothing to do, so I started getting creative, made this guy. And this guy has two winches, one to elevate it and one to raise it. And lots of grass debris. Anyway, here's my supports. I got one of them here and one of them here. And then of course the rotor. So this mast will go in here and then stick out the two meter Yagi. The two meter Yagi will be in this area here. Let me get back on the camera. Okay. So this will stick out a bit and then the um, hex beam will sit on top of this uh, pole and the hinge will be over here somewhere and what that'll do is allow me to have the hex beam 90 degrees to the mast or in line with the mast. So that's what we've got. And it's just a simple affair made up out of box steel tubing. Four inch box steel and four inch box steel with three and a half inside and three inside of that. So these all telescope with the winch that's under here and this winch under here elevates it to vertical position and then it extends the mast up 53 feet. I side mounted the uh, rotor on here so that I could uh, build these support plates. I don't like twisting things and uh, as a result this rotor is going to have a lot of lateral support through these guys which are very close fitting. I didn't like the idea of having a hex beam just supported on the bottom so putting this mast all the way through it is a project I've been working on for a while. So hopefully the next video will show the thing going up in the air. Enjoy N4MQ.